There we are. God, what 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 a circus technology is. <laughs> Just technology is such a mess. We have got uh John O'Connor with us. John, can you hear me at all? I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Am I coming through at all? Uh-oh. Ah, technology. Oh my god. He's muted, he's unmuted. He's muted, he's unmuted. He's there, he's not there. You gotta love technology. Back live here on our big broadcast. We have got all sorts of all sorts of craziness happening. Everybody and their brother is excited, and uh we're gonna be talking. <laughs> If you could believe this, we're going to be talking with Mike Lindell here in about 20 minutes on this program. And uh, John O'Connor is with us. So, John, uh, there's a lot going on with Uncle Joe and some of his shenanigans. Uh, he's beginning the process to pack the Supreme Court, even though he said he wasn't going to. What what do you make of this, John? Well, I think it's a race to 2022. Uh, he's going to do everything he can. Of course, he's not doing it. Other people are doing it. He's going to go as far as he can before 2022 because they're they're going to lose the house clearly in 2022 at this okay. point. Okay. Uh, but if you pack the court, remember, as the progressives would say, if you pack the court, you can't unpack it. What are you going to do? Go out and remove two people? Uh, you can't do it. Uh, that too. There. Well, and something we we talked with Larry Tracy uh, earlier, and uh, he said that if you uh, if you if you have the Democrats pack the Supreme Court, then the Republicans are going to get in and they're going to pack the Supreme Court, and it's like it just it. it but but b before we know it, there's you know a thousand people on this thing. <laughs> well, that's right, and. One of the things that could possibly be done in that event is actually to pass a law, which Congress can do. Yeah. Uh, if if they if again the, the Republicans have probably have to get the Senate back, but pass a law in which they pack on top, pack the Supreme Court, get a couple more on there. Now Biden can probably veto that, and he vetoes it. Okay, there we are. But if he if they could pack it, I think the best way to do to unpack the court would be to say, OK, we'll pass a law that of all the four most recently appointed justices, they serve on a subsidiary court to the Supreme Court and they can screen cases. And there are certain things they can do uh, to help out the big guys, the nine original people. That would be the solution. But again, you'd need <laughs> That may wait until 2024, um, because they, there has been talk of having this intermediate court before the Supreme, below the Supreme Court, above the courts of appeal, to handle certain things, certain workload of the court. Maybe not a bad idea, as long as that doesn't prevent the Supreme Court from acting when it wants to. Um, uh, federal judges at the district court level often fob off very well and very skillfully. Uh, cases to the magistrate judges who will handle, for instance, discovery matters or take a lot of time or uh, rulings on complex but yet not yeah. important dispositive motions. So they could do that with these recently appointed people. But what I see is another thing you can't unspend money. Once you have a, a, a bill well, that too. of millions of dollars for just ridiculous stuff, only 5% of it for, inf for true infrastructure. Yeah. Not. Uh, not the other infrastructure that people claim, uh, <laughs> Kirsten Gillibrand infrastructure. Uh, according to Kirsten Gillibrand, Jiggy, your infrastructure. You know? Hey, I, that that is that is the best thing I've been called all day, sir. <laughs> maybe you should get a billion, you should get a billion dollars. Yeah, ask Biden. You know. Oh. But, uh, as long as you. They don't want to give me money. I'll. <laughs> My God, you give me a billion dollars, I go out and buy Clear Channel. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, that it, 
I could probably get him for a couple thousand dollars, though, at this point. But uh, we've got John O'Connor with us today. John, of course, has been chatting with us since, of all things, the election. <laughs> and uh, we have been picking his brain on a weekly basis. And he, of course, is the author of Postgate, how the Washington Post betrayed Deep Throat and covered up Watergate and began today's partisan advocacy journalism. Uh, you know, what's funny the other day is I was I, I was talking to somebody and I mentioned something about Deep Throat and I and I, you know, was 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 talking about uh, G. Gordon Liddy and all, and all the stuff. And uh, my girlfriend's nine year old daughter goes, what's a deep throat? And I'm like, oh, way before your time. Yeah. Way before your time. We're getting old, Jiggy. I, I'm more than you. Uh, but, you know, speaking of our election night, yes, uh, it's interesting. The polling is out there. There's still a majority of Americans, 70-some percent of Republicans, about 30 percent of Democrats, think that there's a question about whether or not Biden won by cheating. And I think that's a live question. Wow. And, and I think... And I think if we don't have some blue ribbon investigative body to deal with it, those questions are going to linger. And uh, I know uh, there were commissions before that recommended, I think Jimmy Carter was on one, uh, that talked about election and, wow. uh, and James Baker about how to deal with elections. And we probably need a good, a good uh, committee like that. And it has to be one that's not packed with partisans. Yes. Yes, because, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. We did that. Yeah, we got that. But, but, you know, Jiggy, one of the things I tell your audience is I've got a podcast out there. The price is yes. right. It's zero. <laughs> and it's called The Mysteries of Watergate. And I go through it'll, it every week. I have about a 25-minute segment in. It will reveal not only some fun stuff for your audience who may not know much about Watergate. It tells yeah. you about everything you need to know. But more importantly, it tells you stuff that even if you're an old fuddy-duddy, you never heard before. It's all new stuff. So <laughs> That's awesome. you and I have been talking about some of it in the past. Yeah, it is. It is, it is just crazy how some of this is... You know, you, you, th this never gets old. <laughs> well, it doesn't, especially because, like they say, the past is not dead and it's not even past. Look what's yeah. happening now. Look when Hunter Biden, you and I talked about this. They've got a live issue regarding Hunter Biden, and now the press is so bold as to say we're going to embargo it before an election. We're going to affect an election. Uh, you know, if a private party did that, they would be guilty of election fraud. During Watergate, yes. one of Nixon's men was sentenced, uh, I think it's just to a misdemeanor, for handing out false campaign information. Well, what did MSNBC and CBS and The Washington Post, all those people do? They embargoed the Hunter Biden story, and then they deplatformed on Twitter. They all conspired to keep things concealed. Uh, you conceal something in a real estate deal or a stock transaction, you go to jail. <laughs> you know, yes. I guess it's okay. It's okay now. Where everybody's fate's at issue, huh? It's 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 okay now. We can do all sorts of things. It's okay. <laughs> Just, I am amazed by all this. Well, uh, well, John, how do people get the podcast and your book and everything else, my friend? Well, an easy way to do it is to go to postgatebook.com okay. where you can get my podcast uh, and the book information and read some articles. Uh, it's a fun site, postgatebook.com. You can learn about the book, learn about the – and then get on. You can just get on the podcast from there. I think we've got nine episodes out now. Uh, they're fun. Uh, I think people are really enjoying them. We get five-star reviews, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I don't do this to make money. God knows if I did, I'd be the worst <laughs> businessman in the history of creation. So I'm really, the only question is, is just how, you know, how stupid am I? That's really the question. <laughs> I don't know about that. You are, uh, you, you are, you are uh, a, a, a pretty smart cookie, my friend, when it, when it comes to all this stuff. Well, John, I will talk to you next week, and uh, I look forward to all this. And keep up the good work, my friend. Well, great, Jiggy. You're keeping up the good fight. 
see you next week. Appreciate it, brother. There he goes. John O'Connor. Okay. He is joining us live here on our big program. And uh, we got 